Mango! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello! Welcome to Kids and Men Stuff. Today, we're bringing to life seven-year-old Jack's fruit and veg launcher. It's a cannon that fires fruit and vegetables. So everyone can get their five a day. Kids in Vent Stuff. So on Jack's drawing, he's drawn some springs to fire out his fruit and veg. So we're gonna use these elastic springs to make sure that the fruit and veg will fire out as far as possible, just like a catapult. So to bring to life Jack's invention, we're first chopping up some chopping board, which is gonna be the body of our vegetable launcher. So once the parts were cut and sanded, it was time to assemble. Luna had a little nap while we made this window panel. You'll find out about that later. And then it was time to think about how we were gonna trigger this. So to trigger Jack's vegetable launcher, we thought we might have a go at using this old litter picker and specifically the trigger mechanism from it. Um, so that when we pull this trigger, it will set off our kind of catapult mechanism, releasing all of the kind of stored energy we've got, flinging our vegetables. So this runs off a cable, so we're hoping to use that cable to pull our other trigger to set off the launcher. So we took it all apart and we attached it to the body of our vegetable launcher. So the two main things that we need is the box to hold our trigger mechanism and then attach to it a pipe that we can load our vegetables into. It's alive! So this is the trigger mechanism that we found online and these two bits do not open unless you press the trigger and then they open, which should hopefully allow us to fire out our fruits and veg. Once we tested our trigger worked, it was time to do the final assembly. If you know of any kids with ideas we should bring to life, send them to our website. We are doing some very exact engineering on how long um, this kind of pulley piece of string should be. And uh, it feels like day job for you, Sean. We, we've just done this. Um, Ruth said, shouldn't that have a double knot in that handle? And I went, no, it doesn't need a double knot. It won't, it literally said, it won't pull through as it pulls pulled through. through. <laughs> so now we're double knotting. So and I wish I'd been filming the first time because oh. if there was ever a moment. <laughs> That's safer now, we will triple knot it. Yeah, triple knot it to be safe. Because it's weird, Sean, you can never have enough knots in the end. <laughs> Beautiful, and then. When you pull it back and it fires, you don't lose the bit that fires. Okay, so we put these little brackets onto Jack's vegetable launcher and this one is going to hold a laser dot. Laser. And then the other one is going to have a little, uh, little torch so we can use it to fire vegetables at night. Because all that night firing vegetables. Exactly, so we can target it, we can aim, and we can fire at night because it's essential needs for every vegetable launcher. So you're gonna wanna see this. This is our trigger mechanism. We, we like it so much, we've given it its own little window. We're gonna watch this little bead. This bead's important. So as Sean pulls through, through, closes, woohoo! And now that little bead is stuck and a little bit of rubber is pulled back. Then when the trigger is pressed, Fires! Ta-da! So yeah, our little wooden bead was released, flung this forwards, this bit stops it from flying off. <laughs> Look at it! This is why we put a window in it, <laughs> it's mesmerising. <laughs> and then all that was left to do was to buy some fruit and veg to launch from our vegetable launcher. Gotta get that five a day! Okay, so for the first test of Jack's fruit and veg launcher, Ruth has kindly volunteered to take part in an activity that we're loosely calling Fruit Bowl, where I'm going to administer, administer, deliver, <laughs> provide fruit and vegetables, and Ruth is kindly going to collect them in the fruit bowl. Ruth's going to be doing it in safety oh, sunglasses. It's like the most overcast day, <laughs> and I'm wearing sunglasses. What could possibly go wrong? Grapefruit! Grapefruit! Okay. Video editing Sean here. Please be aware that fruit and vegetables were harmed in the filming of this video, but none of them were wasted because we ate them all. Eat your veggies, people. First fruit in the 
bowl, although it has broken. Have a time. So <laughs> that one totally got smushed in the fruit bowl. Do you know what? Multiple parts. It looks delicious. Mm. Mango! Oh! First one we've dropped. Tomato! <laughs> skills! Yeah. Miss Amos has the fruit catching skills, not the bowl. No, the bowl. You haven't got the bowl for the job. You can have the fruit box. Thanks. Cabbage! Yes, yes, yes! Right, let's! Is it gonna fit? Oh! <laughs> Just about fits. Broccoli! This is this! We should have gone with a box to start with. The box is so much easier. I think vegetables taste better when they float through the air! If there was a fruit catching league, I would definitely now be playing in it. I don't think it's going to go very far, but let's try coconut. Coconut! I mean, it fired it. It just, um... Not very far. So, Luna is a big fan of apples, as you can tell. <laughs> so, Ruth is now going to have her turn with the, the launcher. Time for my go. Luna now knows what to expect, so she's patiently waiting. Yes, it. My veggie launcher brings all the dogs to the yard. Jack, we love your invention. This is great. It makes me want to eat all my fruit and veg. All fruit and vegetables from this day henceforth should be delivered via launcher. If you know of any kids whose invention should be brought to life, send them to our website, get them to upload a drawing, and who knows, like Jack, we can bring it to life. More inventions coming soon. See you then. Bye. Bye.